Hello there and welcome to this tutorial. This will be the second part of still frame structure. If you didn't watch the previous part, the part one, please watch that one which link is in the description box below as well. So I have saved this model and I will just run analysis then we will see and proceed. It is other procedure for analysis results so now i am coming here and i will run analysis so i will just click so the analysis started so it will complete shortly analysis has been completed and uh, zero error there is no error then i will press done look here now i am coming here to the shear force and bending moment i will come here from cable tendons here I will press that one. Here I can select uh, some uh, like uh, dead load, life load or others. Then like I will check here momentum 33. Then I will press apply. Look here. So like it will be momentum 33. I will come here. Look here it is moment and you will and you can check here the show values and look here it is all the information about the bending moment is there and if you want to just fill diagram you will apply and you will see it is filled and also you can look here about shear force here and uh, shear 2 to apply so it is a shear force look here and uh, if you want to just do for other combination like I will come here look I will just make it 3d and here I am coming to define and load combination I will add default load combo here and I will select still frame design and also I will select this one I will like you can sit here as well and I'll press ok so all the still combination will be added I will apply now I am coming again here to the shear force and bending moment and frame cable tendon and now I can select a combination as well and look here it is momentum 3 apply and you will look to different results look here it is moment and I can look here about yz axis as well and I will make it zoom it little bit like different results will be there for this combination as well and you can select different combo apply so it is different combination for moment and you can look here for shear force as well so like uh, after that and you can uh, click ok now if you select this member and right click okay you can look here about it is load and uh, shear force moment and deflection as well and you can just scroll each and every side and look for that location and see the all different values and you can select here for example two meter and and location two meter and you will see all the results and you can select here the different combo as well like here the result will change so now i'm coming here the yz again and i will make it zoom now i'm coming here to show you the deform shape like show deform shape here from here or you can just simply come here and show deform shape so like you can select here the different combo and dead load life and earthquake or wind so i will here select earthquake and here I will select the draw uh, this one and about UX and apply look here the results means the earthquake uh, results about the deform shape and here I will select here 3d so it is a deform shape and the different colors and you can select here for Y as well. I will make it apply. Okay, this is UY and you can select for YZ as well. Deform shape for earthquake. Also, you can select here for Windex. Look here, I will apply. 
so it is windex and you can select here uh, ux also and here is wind y so it is a wind y in this direction all the results you can just analyze here and different position and different load combination here now i'm coming here to design then uh, here still frame design and revised references so like here will be the design code uh, you can choose here the preferences i will choose this one and also other frame type and other parameters you can just select here or choose and after that press ok then i am coming here to still frame design and here you can select design group or you can just go here for start design check here so it will check all the still section and will show you the results whether it is correct or not look here it is like going one by one and checking the still section so for design so it is checking one by one it will take some time to select and check to check all the members that is why it is like little bit more time is required look here it is checking one by one design check has been completed now i am coming here to look here whether our member passed or not so i will check verify our member passed it is showing 13 still frame filled stress capacity check so i will select or i will just run again so look here like if i select this beams look here this analysis sections is these sections has been taken like it was automatically when i run it again so the system or the program will take another sections which is like which is not going to fill again or it will be not ever stressed so i will click ok then i am coming here to analysis and will come run analysis or again now i will come here and run analysis analyze again and we'll see the results so still and still design check here so the still design check will start and afterward we will look at its results again in time still design check has been completed like we have defined this auto beams like there is many sections so if any member is ever stressed and you can just recheck that design and it will choose different cross section okay so that's why i have done the redesign check and uh, the system and program have differentiate some cross section for those members which were ever stressed okay so after that you can select all the beams in columns and go there to design and still frame design and make auto select sections now then press ok so now look here when you come here and come to frame design and so now after making the section as a null then there will be like no auto beams and auto columns and the systems that cross section have chosen then that will be like the the, the last and final cross section for these members after design check when you come to these members and right click you will look here other information so when you just come there still frame and verify all the string analysis and design section match for all still frames so it's correct so if you want to just go here for rechecking and it will come here so after the design checks when i come there to design and still frame design and verify all member passed here all still frames passed the stress capacity check so everything is correct now now when i come there to select this member and go for details here for the sections like i am coming here it is a, a ratio and it is bending in major bending in uh, minor and it is ratio so it is correct everything when i come here to detail so all information for this section is showing there like it is still section uh, check and this is the code and also all the informations exist here okay and you can just uh, print it out here 
and okay you can just print it out or you can just export to excel sheet or whatever you want and you can select for other members as well here from here or you can just go there and select other different members here when I come here I will select this member when I go there and select this member and go for details so it is showing all the information here you can select here for also like composite beams like i am coming here i will make it zoom little bit so like this is like this is composite beam i will select and go for details and look here it is showing all the information about composite beams as well and you can just print it out or look all the information here look here we have all the information about composite beam as well so our design is correct and nothing is wrong if any member is ever stressed you can just go here to the auto select section and here from like we have many different uh, here the auto beams show and modify show and like we have many auto sections okay the program will automatically choose like maximum or more than that cross section which are already assigned and you will uh, see the correct results so like there is options like you can choose many cross sections as you want for auto beams auto columns and all other sections so our design is correct everything is okay so so this tutorial has been completed thanks for watching if you have any doubt any problem you can write it down in the comment box and subscribe our channel stay tuned for the coming tutorial bye bye